Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, I'm excited to tell you if this new discovery of mine is a worthwhile clone of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This one by the company Montaigne Parfum is called Parfum de Cerise, so stay tuned. fragrance I believe was launched in 2019 and I initially acquired this bottle about a couple of weeks ago it was sent to me by the company so I do want to thank them very much for sending this and I want to do uh, disclose that to my viewers so I got a sample kit about a couple of weeks ago or something like that and I remember going through all of them and all of them were reminiscent of other fragrances that I have smelled before so there was one that reminded me a lot of Dior Sauvage there was one that reminded me of uh, Creed's Aventus there was one that reminded me of Santal 33 there was one that smelled similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjian and there's one that smells similar to Lost Cherry by Tom Ford and that's when I came to figure out that these fragrances are inspired by more popular niche and design fragrances. So when I decided which fragrance I wanted a full-size bottle of, I picked this one for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have any Lost Cherry clones in my collection. I also do not own Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And I feel like this is a really good variant of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And so the more that I've been wearing it, the more that it has basically satiated my need for purchasing Lost Cherry. So I'm really excited to tell you if I think this is a worthwhile clone, but let's go ahead and start things off by taking a a very quick look at the presentation. The box here has an aesthetic that's very similar to Le Labo presentations. It has the name of the fragrance here in the front, the date that it was bottled, and the person for whom it's bottled. The bottle itself also looks pretty similar. The distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, without a doubt, you will pick up on a lot of the similarities that you'll also find in Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, if you didn't already know, this is a sort of cherry or cherry liqueur type of a scent. There is a saccharine sweetness about it that I actually really enjoy. I don't typically like it when it veers in like cloying um, property or anything like that, but I think that with this one, it's not overly sweet to the point where it smells childish or juvenile or inauthentic. I think the sweetness in here actually pairs really really well with the cherry to almost create like this cherry liqueur vibe there's something that I really like about the original lost cherry and I'm glad that it's included in this one as well is that there's this almondy nuance about it so I'm personally a huge fan of the note of almond as it's used in many different fragrances hypnotic poison by Dior being one of them also pie by Givenchy being a very popular one I wore that all throughout high school and with this fragrance in particular you do have it and I wouldn't say it's more amplified than the original lost Lost Cherry, but I think it's just as amplified as the original Lost Cherry. So the more that I wore this one and the more that I kept going back and forth with my official sample that I have from the brand, that's when I realized that, you know what, this actually smells really, really close to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I don't like putting a number on it. I don't like assigning a percentage to it or ascribing a percentage to it. But if I had to say anything, it would be 90 to 95%. For the price that you're going to pay for this one, I think it's a really good variant of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. You guys know I always uh, am an advocate of going out there and purchasing the actual thing. Uh, a lot of times there are fixatives and there are certain captive ingredients that are used with the original creation that they're the only ones who are allowed to use those notes. So you're not going to get a fully cloned version of your favorite niche or designer fragrance, but you'll get something that comes quite close. And in the case of this fragrance, Parfum de Cerise, it comes really, really close. It has that sweetness in the opening. There's a bit of vanilla in the base. You have some soft woods. You also have some resins that aren't overly smoky or medicinal because um, I know benzoin sometimes can come across as a little bit medicinal. Galbanum has a similar effect, but it kind of in a green direction. In the case of this fragrance, it doesn't smell overly strong in that regard. I think it's a very easy to wear fragrance. I think it's one that can be worn both casually and dressed up. And I think it's great for all seasons and all occasions. So let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. 
So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I'm having a really hard time saying that this is a unique fragrance because it's not. In essence, it is a reverse engineered version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but I do think that this one comes so close that in fact, it has curbed my need uh, for purchasing Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Perhaps when I do run out of this bottle, I might if I'm still in the mood for it, but right now this is really holding me down. It's really uh, satiating my fix, so to speak. In terms of the overall smell, I personally love this smell of lost cherry it contains a lot of my favorite ingredients in there and so for that reason i would um, i am a huge proponent of this one and i would advocate that you go out there and at the very least sample it in terms of the longevity longevity was stellar on my skin i got about seven to eight hours and that i i did apply very lightly i would venture to say that if i applied a little bit more liberally it would have done a bit better especially in the projection department because there isn't a whole lot of citrus in this scent and i think it's really the citrus that allows this fragrance to jump up off your skin and you know evaporate and get you noticed in the first hour to two hours the projection on this one was in the one hour range and then it started to sit a little bit closer to the skin i would say radiated within an arm's length for about five hours and then right around that seven to eight hour mark it totally disappeared but the performance on this one is really really good in terms of the versatility i don't think that this one has so much vitality to it that it can only be worn in the cold weather i think this one on account of the performance, it could be worn all year round. And I think in terms of social scenarios or occasions, you can wear this one both dressed up and dressed down. And I do think it's a perfectly unisex scent. In terms of the presentation, I do think that they have an aesthetic that's very similar to Le Labo. I would like for something a bit more individualistic, but all in all, I do think it's a cool presentation. So my final verdict on this one is, I'm really enjoying this scent. I am wearing it in place of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I am enjoying it thoroughly. I think it comes very, very close to the original. And if you guys go out there and try it for yourself, you'll see that it does in fact come quite close to Lost Cherry. I do think that a lot of their variations come quite close to the original. Their Santal 33 inspiration comes very close. Also their Baccarat Rouge 540 inspiration comes close as well. I think in terms of the Savage and the Aventus clones, uh, those perhaps need a little bit of work, but this one is awesome. I'd highly recommend it. Links will be down below. They're not affiliate links or anything. It's just me promoting the company to you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you watching this video. That was my review on Parfum de Cerise by Montaigne Parfum. If you own or have tried this fragrance or anything by this company, I would love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would love your subscription. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button in the corner. And this way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads and that includes reviews just like this one top tens giveaways unboxings special guests interviews and a whole lot of other fragrance related content thanks again for watching i love you guys and we'll see you in the next episode bye